Hey, what's up? <laughs> hey, what's up, you guys? It's your girl Michaela, and welcome, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I cannot. <laughs> I'm literally smiling so much that I'm about to cry. I don't think you guys understand how excited I am to film today's video. I have been sitting patiently waiting anticipating on making this video and i know that sounds so over dramatic but i swear i've been wanting to make this video for so so long as soon as i feel like i've created the list of things that i am so overly obsessed with or my list of michaela would not be michaela without these products i just find something new that i'm in love with and i just keep on adding to it but i finally feel like i can settle down create this video and share with you guys things that I am so overly obsessed with. Like genuinely, I would not be me without these. <laughs> so over dramatic. There's not gonna be one specific thing that I'm gonna be sharing with you guys. I have things ranging from body care to beauty to lifestyle to snacks. Just everything that has had the consumerism chokehold on me. And with that being said, don't forget to follow me on both my Instagram and my TikTok. Can I have a round of applause because I actually am kinda low-key being consistent on social media. Very, very proud of myself. <laughs> I post like two things and I'm like, oh my God, I'm being so consistent. But with that being said, enough rambling. Let's just hop straight on into it. Hello? So this is the first thing I'm obsessed with. My little doggy. She smells like Fritos. Okay, so I don't think I'm gonna go in any specific order I'm just gonna kind of pull out of the bag that I have in front of me and share it with you guys at random But the very first thing that I've been absolutely obsessed with is my Olaplex this stuff freaking amazing I almost shat my pants when I was in Sephora and saw that these tiny little bottles the size of my forehead were like $28 I'm definitely not a person that is good at taking care of their hair I've never really been good at my hair especially when I was a little kid but within I would say this past like two months I've really been wanting to grow out my hair So I've been trying to invest in really good products to promote hair growth So I did hear about Olaplex and I decided to pick them up the conditioner. I probably could live without I think the conditioner is just okay It's good, but it's also like $28 So I wanted it to be like amazing and that's what I feel like the shampoo is for me I absolutely love the shampoo. I will continue to always repurchase this I just absolutely love the way that the Olaplex shampoo lathers and cleanses my hair i use the tiniest amount and i swear i can cover my entire head these just do it for me i traveled recently and so these were in my luggage so when i took a shower the other day i had to use my old shampoo and conditioners and i could just tell the difference always going to be in my collection i apologize olaplex for shitting on you guys and being like why is this 30 dollars no genuinely like why is it 30 dollars but they're so good, so I'm gonna spend the money. So the very next product that I have to share with you guys is actually a skincare product. Just like I've been getting super into hair care products and I wasn't always into them, I'm also really getting into skincare. So this is actually what it is. It's a tool. This is an ice roller. I'm sure a lot of you guys are very, very familiar with ice rollers now just because they're all over the internet. I've actually had this one for quite a while now. I've just been super inconsistent with using it. In the summertime, this is super, super cooling on your face. This is also great if you are an alcohol drinker. Drinker, just because I don't know about you guys but when I drink alcohol I wake up the next morning my face is a little bit puffy and so having an ice roller like this really helps depuff it so basically what you do is you pop out this little block and then you just keep this one in the fridge overnight and then in the morning time you pop it back and then you'll just drag it across your face like so like this and I try to do this every morning, but it really just depends on if like I'm lazy or not. I absolutely love my ice roller. One, I just think it's super fun. It looks super cool. You feel very pampered, even though it's just like something as simple as like a $12 ice roller. But alongside that, I actually do see a difference. Not in like, you know, clearing up acne or anything like that, but just in like the sense of puffiness and redness. So I definitely recommend an ice roller. I did get this off of Amazon. This is really nice. If you're not using one, definitely, definitely gotta hop on it. So the next thing I have to share with you guys is something that I wanted to gatekeep so so badly like no shame in my game I did not want to share these with you guys but I had to you guys are my best friends so these are my smiley face house slippers now I'm definitely not the first people to have these like these are definitely something that is going around on the internet and a lot of people do have them but I feel like they haven't blown up blown up 
and I don't know why because I think these are so cute so stylish they are so comfy as well the first time I actually saw them it was a girl at my school was wearing them I personally don't wear them out and about I just wear them in my house but I saw her wear them at my school and I thought they were super cute they remind me of the Justin Bieber like Drew smiley face and that's what I thought they were originally but they're literally just off of Amazon they were like 25 bucks or something I personally don't think that they're that durable to wear out and about but if you're somebody like me I'm gonna be moving into my sorority house in a couple months and if I want to go downstairs and just grab breakfast or something these would be perfect to use and like nobody asked me to like put them on but um I just wanted to share with you guys so moving on if you guys know me you know I absolutely love to read I love nonfiction, fiction anything in between I love reading it's why I got into acting as a kid like I used to love love reading scripts now when it comes to actual like self-help books I've been reading those for maybe like two years and I swear to goodness like self-help books have changed my life they're just so motivating and they really do change your outlook and your perspective on a lot of things but with that being said out of all the 50 self-help books that I've ever read this one has to be my favorite and this is the power of your subconscious mind by joseph murphy it is a little bit dense right off the bat they recommend to read each chapter twice i'm definitely not a booktuber and i'm not the best at describing like books in general and i feel like any way that i will describe this book is short of what it is but basically what this book overarching describes is that anything in this world that you want you can achieve through the power of your subconscious mind and it doesn't matter what it is like nothing is off limits whether it's the profession that you want, whether it's the love that you want, the relationships that you want, the wealth, the physical appearances, the friendships, something as simple as the lunch you want to eat that day. Like whatever you want and whatever you desire in this world is not outside of you. It is all within the power of your own mind. Dr. Murphy is a Christian. I believe he's a pastor. And so this book has a lot of like biblical teachings in it as well. So he ties a lot of what he's learned in his journey through Christ alongside through his journey of understanding his subconscious mind. And he links them two together, which I really enjoy and appreciate. Nobody wants to hear my rant about spirituality, but I feel like in the world of spirituality, those things can be very, very headbutted on, but he combines them into one, and I really enjoy that. Understanding the power of my own mind and how my thoughts create the reality around me has absolutely changed everything. I, I can't even put it into words. I feel like it's just something that you have to pick up and read to really understand for yourself. When I get my own house one day, I'm gonna have this like on display in a glass case because this is everything. Thing. So a next little favorite of mine is actually a body wash. Now this is the Dove Refreshing Cucumber and Green Tea Body Wash. I talk about Dove a lot on my channel just because they're like one of my favorite body washes. They're so, so good because it gets me clean and it makes me feel moisturized and I smell super good after I use it. So I've been really liking this one and I decided to pick up the Cucumber and Green Tea one. I remember my parents used to use this one all the time when I was a kid. Like this was all they bought for us. And yeah, normally I'm not like a cucumber green tea, like fresh and clean kind of girl but because I've been so minimal with my products recently that's all I want to do like I don't want to do the whole layering all the cupcake scents I just want to smell fresh clean out of the shower so I've been gravitating towards this one so the next little favorite of mine is actually the ordinary glycolic acid toning solution so this is a toner for your face you use it after you like wash your face and I hated this for my actual skin it just felt so astringent it just felt way way too much for my skin and I did not like it at all so it kind of just sat in my cabinets for so so long however I did see somebody I think it was on TikTok I'm not for sure and they talked about how you can use this under your arms to tone underneath your arms and basically stop it from smelling and I kid you not I don't know the science behind it I don't know what is in here that does it but it genuinely doesn't make you stink and I switched to non-aluminum deodorants I think like three or four months ago and I really needed a product that was gonna help combat the detox stage and so this has been a miracle worker after I get out of the shower I'll take a little cotton pad put this on there and wipe this underneath my arms very gently because it is pretty strong and I don't smell at all that day but if I am going out and I need a little bit of extra help I'll just use that and then put my non-aluminum deodorant right on top if you're somebody like me who no shame in my game I profusely sweat underneath my underarms you're gonna need something like this so another one of my little favorites recently has been jewelry and I know to most people it's like girl jewelry <laughs> like jewelry is like a staple in people's collections it's something that they wear every single day but if you know me or if you watch my videos for a long time you know i barely ever wear jewelry except for really recently i've 
all I do is wear jewelry. And my favorite things to wear are just very dainty little pieces that you wouldn't have noticed, but if you take them off, like you can see a difference. So for example, I'm wearing these little dainty hoops. I actually got these from Amazon. They're like my absolute favorite pair of hoops because I love how small they are yet chunky. And then I also have this really, really cute necklace on. This one is from Princess Polly. These have been my little gay openers to the world of jewelry and now I never want to leave. Now, I don't really want to go too deep into the makeup product. I just want to quickly go over them one because I have so much stuff to share with you guys and two a lot of these are just kind of self-explanatory So if you guys know me, I'm just such a lash girl I've always been a lash girl ever since I learned how to put on fake lashes But I have a friend she literally has the world's longest lashes and people always think she's wearing extensions And she told me she swears by grande lash now I already owned grande lash, but I wasn't using it consistently and she told me she swears by it But you have to use it consistently and so that's what I've been doing and I absolutely do notice a difference in my lashes not just in the length or the thickness but also in the strength of them like I don't think they're as brittle anymore I will say to use grande lash at your own risk because I do see a lot of tiktoks where people have had some like really bad effects with grande lash but personally if you want to know my opinion on it I do really like it I haven't seen any super bad negative side effects just yet I think it has really worked for my lashes and I actually love wearing my natural lashes now so when I am wearing my natural lashes I am wearing these two mascaras and I've never been a mascara girl because I never like to wear my natural lashes I either wore false lashes or nothing on my lashes at all so when I started using grande lash I knew I wanted to start rocking my natural lashes so I did some research and found these two mascaras and I love them this first one is the heroine make long and curl mascara super waterproof this is a Japanese brand mascara you can get it off of Amazon it's kind of in the middle for a price I mean it's more than a drugstore but less than a high-end but I really really like this one for the purpose of holding a curl to me it doesn't really add like a thickness or a length but it holds the curl so so well. I have your traditional short doesn't really hold a curl Asian lashes and so picking up a Japanese mascara was like the best thing that I've done for them and like I said that one doesn't really add any thickness or length to it so I did pick up a mascara that will do it so this is the L'Oreal Hydrofuge Telescopic Mascara I really like this one because it has a really thin bristled brush and so I really think it helps with the lengthening and I think these two work together so so well I've also been obsessed with the Kosas concealer this one was trending on TikTok I know it's the one that Hailey Bieber uses everyone was super into this just because it's kind of like the new wave of makeup it's like makeup and skincare because it's like concealer serum and it's exactly that the reason why I love this so much is because of how lightweight it looks and feels on my skin I like using this as an under eye concealer it's just so hydrating it glides on every time somebody asks me for a concealer recommendation I have to point them to the closest one the last two makeup products I have to share with you guys are two lip products and the first one is the Laneige sleeping care lip sleeping mask this one is in the scent sweet candy this one smells so so good it kind of smells like gummy bears to me they actually have a gummy bear scented one but to me that one smelled nasty my go-to lip recently has been lining my lips with a lip liner and then putting this on top just to seal it all in now I do believe this is like a glorified chapstick but I can't get enough of it and for the last little lippy I have the Dior lip glow oil in the shade raspberry this thing is my holy grail like my baby when I first got it I kind of just thought like okay it's good but I didn't understand the hype but whenever I would take photos I would be like what is that lip product I'm wearing in that photo because it looks so so nice and I always remember that it was this one and yeah I don't know if you can tell it just adds the nicest sheen a light baby pink color and then just makes them look so so glossy and I'm not kidding out of all the lip glosses lip oils everything that I've used for my lips to make them look nice and juicy this one has to be my favorite so we're probably a good 20 minutes into this video and if you have not drinking water yet this is your reminder to pause this get up and go get some water babe because it is summer it's super hot and you need to stay hydrated and that's why my next favorite is my water bottle so this is my swell water bottle this is just like the hydro flask it's just a stainless steel water bottle and it keeps your cold drinks cold and your hot drinks hot put ice cubes in here throw it in your car and you can come back the next day and it's still in that form and I just think it's important to have any type of water bottle especially one that you kind of think is cute just because you're more motivated to carry it around with you and drink it and for the summertime when you're at the beach or you're going to the lake and you're there for hours on end and it's kind of hard to refill your water bottle with ice it's really nice and beneficial to have these stainless steel ones just because it'll keep it like that having a good water bottle always 
always a must. So I have one little article of clothing to share with you guys and it is little jumpsuits. They're so easy, just it's one little article of clothing. You don't have to think about matching your pants with your top or anything like that. You literally throw it on but you look so clean and so put together. This one is from Princess Polly and I have not got my hands on the Aritzia ones just because every single time I go into store they are sold out but best believe they will be in my next obsessions video. I already know it manifesting it predicting it so my next little favorite is wearing sunglasses like i said earlier i've never been an accessories type of girl but jewelry and glasses have been my go-to little staple pieces and these are my two favorite pair of sunnies to wear if i'm not wearing this one i'm wearing this one and vice versa i got both of them from amazon so this is what the black one looks like this is the one i always wear it comes in a two-pack and you get to pick the colors that you want and then these are the other ones that i wear now you either absolutely adore these sunglasses and you think that they're so on trend or you think they look like something that a serial killer in the 80s would wear pick your poison but i love them and both of these sunglasses i always always get compliments on when i wear them out and about Ooh, ooh. so my favorite part i have to share with you guys snacks one of my best friends he put me onto this because he is obsessed with rice cakes always knew about rice cakes and i definitely have had them but i always had the plain ones so i was just like oh yum but he told me about the chocolate ones and i fell in love game changer you take a chocolate rice cake you take the so delicious vanilla dairy-free coconut milk yogurt so you take a spoonful of that put it on this rice cake spread it around the coconut milk yogurt with the chocolate from the rice cake God said. It is my favorite, favorite snack when I have a sweet tooth. So, so delicious. So another thing that I've been super into recently, we have a coffee shop on campus called Dulce and they have like the world's best matcha. Get an iced blueberry matcha there with oat milk. God, I sound so LA. But an iced blueberry matcha with oat milk. Thank me. Thank me later. And I've always loved matcha like all my life. Like I'm Japanese. Like I love matcha. But Dulce is really like amputated and gave the life back to my matcha obsession. And so now that I'm back home and I don't have Dulce, I've been trying to make matcha myself. This one actually isn't my favorite matcha. My favorite matcha is the one from Amazon, but this one is the one I have on hand. This one is by Trader Joe's. Just will mix this with a little bit of hot water and then pour in your oat milk. And you can add a little bit of some brown sugar, which is so, so good with matcha, or a little bit of sugar-free vanilla. And yeah, shout out to my ancestors because they know what they were doing when they created matcha. Of all the things shown in this video, this thing has to be my favorites of my favorites. And I couldn't actually bring the device with me to share with you guys because it's freaking humongous but it is my juicer or just juicing in general and i can't take any of the credit like whatsoever because my mom is actually the queen of juicing and she like does it all for me she makes them so so well and if you guys want to know the recipes let me know and i'll respond in the comments just because my mom's the one that makes them so i'll make sure to ask her if any of you guys are interested and because i couldn't directly show you guys my juicer i just wanted to share with you guys some of the juices that we make this is my mom's like go-to juice that she makes for us i think it has like beets chia seed celery but it is so so good so sweet and so yummy and then this little guy is a power shot this is ginger i just pour it into a little glass and then i'll down it like some titos now me and my family are so obsessed with getting the little wellness shots you can get them from like trader joe's jamba juice any place like that and then this little bottle of just straight up ginger and sometimes they have like cayenne pepper and they're so expensive for just like one little one but you can get a huge pack of ginger for like eight bucks from sprout i just got home from vegas like two or three days days ago and so having little wellness shots after a trip like vegas is perfect just using any fruit and vegetable has been a less favorite for me okay you guys so that was actually it for today's video i do hope you guys enjoyed seeing all the things that i've been so freaking obsessed with so absolutely in love with things that michaela wouldn't be michaela without and it's really nice to take note of these things especially if you're somebody that like you like to buy a lot of things it's nice to know what do you actually use and what are you actually getting your money's worth these products are definitely it for me i don't even want to call this a favorites video because i feel like favorites are temporary and those are just things that you kind of are obsessed with in that moment i will say that everything in this video is things that like i feel like i'm always gonna love and don't forget to let me know in the comment section down below if you guys like this type of video because i would definitely love to do more of these in the future once again don't forget to follow me on all my social medias i thank you guys so so much for watching today's video i love you guys oh so much and i will talk to you guys very very soon